A new season of Halo HCS has been announced with a roadmap leading all the way to November with some extra surprises on the way getting detailed into the in this video here. So let's jump right into the content. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and today we're going to be talking about some Halo news for you guys. If you like these news videos and want to stay up to date with any more Halo news coming, yeah make sure to tap subscribe because we're always uploading awesomeness to this con channel as well. So let's get right into it. So we have a roadmap leading all the way to November for the next season for Halo HCS. Uh, it was detailed on the Halo waypoint here, but I'll save you all the reading here. I'll give you all the bullet points. Now that 343 has seemed to kind of lock down what they want to accomplish when it comes to the, the new competitive settings for Halo, because like my last video, if you haven't seen it, that uh, we will be seeing no ground pound and no sparring charge when it comes to the gameplay for Halo HCS. So this is going to drastically change a lot of game. Quite a bit of gameplay here for everyone, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. It's also getting implemented into the matchmaking as well, so you have to check that out as well. So, uh, this new season is going to be starting out. We have two events coming for Halo one in July, that's going to be in New Orleans, and then another one that's going to be in September, that's going to be over in London, which is going to be the highest prize pool ever for a European event for Halo, all culminating in the November finals. Now the location for the November Finals has not been announced quite yet, but they know it's going to be somewhere in North America. The one cool thing I find really about this New Orleans event is that they were actually teaming up with another game series, another professional game series, you know, franchise happening, that's going to be Gears of War, which now makes total sense because Gears of War is owned by the co created by the Coalition, which is kind of like the 343 for Gears of War, where they're a Microsoft company with some remnants of the original creators. Uh, still on the franchise, but uh, now they're kind of you know getting together, doing a New Orleans Finals event. Now you know they say they're gonna be hosting the same arena at least. I don't know if these are gonna be implementing the same stream, saying like if you're gonna watch a Halo stream and in the downtime of switching over to Gears of War streams. I don't know how much much integration is gonna happen there. All they said that it's gonna be taking place in the same area. Plus, I think this is gonna be really great for both competitive um, communities to really kind of blend a little bit. They kind of get some people crossing over, and so then maybe some people who like Gears of War see the little Halo, and maybe some people who like Halo see the little Gears of War, get a little mashing going there. It should work out rather well. I remember back, I think it was the uh, for the last season of HCS, that uh, one of the players on the Australia team was one of the better players in the competition, I'd say, came from Gears of War. And he'd only been playing Halo for like you know, a few months before the finals actually came around, which was kind of interesting that how that happened, but and see, that's, there's potential crossover right there, and I think it's going to be really cool to see what happens with that. Also keep in mind for these HCS games that we're, they're going to be implementing the new the two new Forge maps that will be coming to the game as well. I uh, mentioned that in my, in my, also in my previous video, talking about how we're going to be getting Fisher and Echelon for two new Forge maps that are going to be in the Halo HCS playlist. Maybe a little bit Oddball as well can be thrown in there, so it's going to be a lot of fresh new aspects of the game that I think are going to be help make this season something pe make people want to watch have something new that you know get people interested back into playing HCS again now obviously since we're talking about Halo HCS we kind of have to start talking about some predictions while we're at it because we know that Splice dominated the last season like completely they didn't drop a single game all season which is insane and they I think they swept in uh, 4 or 4 1, I believe, in the finals for the million dollar or half million dollar prize pool. So, Splice definitely going to be favored. Tox got to be up there as well. Uh, I would say watch out for Reciprocity. Uh, they have the talent for sure. And I think they, you know, it's our first season together as well. So, yeah, you have some, you know, melding they got to do as a team. But I say watch out for Reciprocity to be either a strong third or a possible second. I think they could give, you know, Splice a run for their money as well. I think that they have a really strong chance to do, have a really strong uh, presence this uh, season. So definitely look out for them when it comes to New Orleans and also the finals as well. Envious can't knock them out as well either. Tox and Splice, gotta keep an eye out for those teams as well. But let me know in the comment section down below guys if you know of any other teams that may be kind of popping up, they may surprise you. And, um, you know, what are you guys looking forward to the most with this new season of HCS? I'm going to be looking forward to it. I'll be watching the streams as well. Also in this Halo update, 343 mentions about how they want to try to make a better viewer experience when it comes to these live streams. I think one of those improvements definitely has to be downtime between games. Uh, 
I don't know what the deal is or what's going on, why it takes so much time to set up another game. I mean, I couldn't imagine taking more than 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes like 30 minutes, I'm like, what's going on here? Especially with like the DDoSing that happens, or the, the other servers crashing, whatever that is, that needs to just freaking stop completely. If you want to have a smooth, enjoyable viewing experience and playing experience as well. And also, I'd say, come on, give us a little more on those rec packs. I mean, obviously I just unlocked everything in Halo now, now I'm like rank, what, 144? And... So I don't really have much else to gain, but a lot of people still do, and I think you gotta make, you know, gotta make it, you know, be a little more generous with those rec packs, I'd say, because they only give them like maybe one code an hour, roughly, and I think if you want to kind of keep people jumping in playing, like there's so many times when I'm watching the stream, people just jump in saying code, 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 just like you gotta, you know, give people more incentives to keep watching for games that maybe they're not so much interested in. You know, that's kind of what kept me watching this, the lot of streams as well, knowing that any moment now, a rec pack code's gonna pop up, and it might be a platinum code, and I'll get something awesome in the game as well. I know it sounds terrible, kind of, but like, I think you gotta be a little more generous with your fan base right here, because obviously the game's two and a half years old now, uh, and, you know, you can't, you know, I can understand being a little more stingy when the game first starts, you know, is released. But you, come on, you can be a little more generous now to your fan base with the rec pack. Just code. And also don't forget throughout these old, these entire series, there's going to be free for all tournaments along with these uh, finals. And so then you can ch have a chance to showcase your own personal skills as well. But anyways guys, I think that's going to be everything for the video here. It's a nice little update video letting you know there's a new season of Halo HDS coming out. The new events. The partnering with the Gears of War franchise. I think it's going to be a great thing for the to help both grow both small competitive communities and help that uh, help them out greatly obviously the team to watch out for splice they dominated last season i don't see why anything else would change this season and i'm right just overall just really looking forward to the new gameplay with you know, the addition of oddball the changes to uh no sparring charge no ground pound and the new maps as well kind of freshening things up quite a bit there's gonna be a lot of reasons why you're gonna want to want to watch this season guys so, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Helps the video get more notoriety, so more people get to stay in the know when it comes to more competitive or just Halo news in general. And also, if you want to stay up to date with any news coming to Halo, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell for notifications. Which should never tell me upload anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.